Hey there, and welcome to the locker room. Coach Gage here, and today's message, life, time management, life or time management. I'm sure you've noticed this is a week where I'm going to concentrate a lot on time because I think it's the most precious resource, and we have to make sure we're utilizing every moment because we don't get but 86,000 seconds in a day. We've got to make sure we use them all wisely. So what I'd like to suggest is for you to make a list of all the projects that you have or want to accomplish. Pick the one that's the most important and begin working on it, and then the second and the third one. Do a little bit each day on that first and most important project. Before you know it, time will pass you by and you will have completed that project. With that, you will have achieved a new competence, a new satisfaction, an ultimate success in your efforts because life is about accomplishing one thing at a time. There is an unbelievable positive cumulative effect of a little time well spent each day. Here are some important principles for proper time and life management that I'd like to suggest. Number one, commit to using your time wisely and effectively. Set aside time each day, as I do, for thinking, reflecting, and planning. Implement a do-it-now philosophy. Develop a sense of urgency for accomplishment. And finally, think on paper. Write down your plans, your ideas, your responsibilities. Years ago, Someone told me that writing things down crystallizes your thinking. And they were right. It allows you to look at that one thing with the millions of thoughts that we have and allow you to concentrate and focus on that one thing by writing it down. Prioritize the items on this list in their order of importance. Put the A's in the A category, B's, and then C's. Most time management tools have the ABC system or one, two, three system. And then work from that list. Concentrate on one thing at a time. Don't allow interruptions and other more minor projects get in the way. Stick to that one thing until it is completed. And if it's not on the list, then don't do it. This will help you to build confidence and competencies that you might not fully be aware of. Discipline yourself to get up each day and focus on the most important job first. Even though you might not feel like doing it, I've trained myself and disciplined myself to doing the things that I might not want to do in order to have the things that I want to have. And often it means doing things that I might not feel like doing in that moment. But I know that if I do them, they will produce the kind of results that will free me up, excite me, inspire me, and motivate me because that is an important project. You know what those important things are to get done? Well, let's set about doing them because there's plenty of time to get it all done. Thanks for joining me in the locker room. And remember, it's your job and mine to manage our lives, which means to manage the time that God gives us each day, those 86,000 seconds. Make it a great day. We'll see you tomorrow in the locker room game. Bye-bye. If you've enjoyed and feel that the Daily Locker Room has served as an inspiration in your life, why not take this moment and do the same for a friend by sending them the daily message? Click on the Tell a Friend tab, fill in their information, and help spread the inspiration.